Hi, my name is Chris. In this video series, I'm gonna try to make a remote control to rolling cube. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it anyway. In the cube, I'm gonna put a flywheel connected to a motor. When the flywheel starts rotating, it's gonna store a lot of kinetic energy. When you break the flywheel, that kinetic energy has to go somewhere and uh, it should flip the cube. That's the plan anyway. These are some of the prototypes I already made, but they don't really work that well. They're just too much hack together. So I decided to make a decent design first. To make the cube turn in any direction, you need three flywheels. It was quite a challenge fitting them all in the cube. My previous tests failed with the brakes, so that's the first thing I'm gonna make. So this is the main mechanical part of the brake. The blue part is a brake pad from a bicycle disc brake. And a small servo motor is gonna push the brake pad against the flywheel. Up next I'm gonna make a bracket to connect the brake to the motor. This is the finished bracket right out of the mill. Now I'm ready to start on the flywheel. I make my models in Rhino and use Rhino Cam to make my CNC tool pads. Now that I have the bracket and the flywheel, I'm ready for my first test fit. The next things I have to do is make a mount for my servo motor, finish my flywheel and make a mount for the other side of the brake pad. But that will be something for the next video. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.